Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build the wall jump secret entrance which is probably my favourite contraption I have built in a long long time. This thing is absolutely amazing, it's completely flush, there is a secret entrance and it's up there in the wall. So the first time that we're going to use this is probably going to be a little bit confusing because we have to hold down forward, press this button and then before you know it we've gone through our secret entrance. So this time we're going to take a step back so you can see what's going on here and a whole bunch of things happen very quickly because this is a very fast and efficient door that we have right here. So first of all, a slime block appears at the bottom, that's going to project the player up and then a block is going to extend for them to land on and then the secret entrance is going to open for the player to go through. So let's do that one more time and you'll be able to see it all happen very, very quickly. So this thing really is amazing. Let's take a look at it from a third person perspective. All we've got to do is press the button, hold down forward and we've gone all the way through. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Let's just do that one more time. I really do love this contraption. It's ever so fast and so simple to use. And I know some of you are going to ask for it. Here it is in survival. No, you do not take any damage at all. The entire time I've been testing and using this, I've never taken a single piece of damage. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this has been one of my favourite contraptions that I have made in a long, long time. Not just because it's a sleek and secret entrance, but because of the redstone. Let's take a step back and look at this right here. Now, it may look like a little bit of a jumble, but actually what's going on here is a very compact design for what it does. I originally started out with this thing over here. You can see the redstone is a little less organised. It's a bit more of a jumble. And on my Plot World server, I've been putting in the hours, compacting this down with help from various people in the community. And this is the final product. You can see it is incredibly slim and sleek and the redstone is compacted into a very, very organised space right there. But anyway, enough about the contraption. It's now time for me to show you how to build this. So this is what we're going to be building. This is essentially the bare bones. I've stripped out most of the wall and the floor and that's the bare minimum that you need to make this thing work. Now I've added in some glass blocks as well. These are going to act like markers to show us where to build this because the bottom part is three blocks wide, the top part is four blocks wide. The entire thing is six blocks deep. So I've marked out where some of the redstone goes down the bottom here and it's three blocks up till you hit the ground level. So right here is where you're going to be uh, jumping up to go up above. So hopefully all of that will help you position this in the correct place. And to build it, you're going to need these materials, everything in this chest right here, and around a stack of building blocks. Now that's just to make the bare essentials part right here. So you will need to bring some more if you want to build the rest of the wall around this, which I imagine you probably will want to do. So let's start building this. You can see I've already placed down some redstone. Those were just on the highlighted blocks from the previous step. So we've got our three repeaters facing forward and then we've got a line of redstone around the back. And just follow my lead here. I'm going to be placing down blocks, doing a lot of things. Just need to uh, put them down like that. Then we're going to place a piece of redstone right here. We need to disconnect this on either side so it's isolated. Then put a block above that uh, repeater right there and put a redstone torch right there. Then over the back, piece of redstone here and a repeater there, another one here, facing in those directions, just on the default setting, and then at the front we want two redstone torches like so. So now we're going to put a sticky piston in the middle here, we're going to place them on the side facing upwards and they're going to extend because the uh, redstone torches are powering them, and then just remove that block temporarily and then put it back again even though the glass doesn't actually need to be here. <laughs> uh, but we're going to put a slime block in the middle of all of that and then four blocks across the top like so. And now we need to uh, continue doing the redstone. So we're going to put a block between these two repeaters right there, a piece of redstone on top of it, a block above that, then a block above these two like this. Actually that one needs to be a sticky piston facing upwards. Put a block on top of that and a block to the side. You're going to want a repeater there on the second setting, that's the only repeater that we actually change from default when building this. Then a piece of redstone right there, and then we'll put a block on the side of the repeater. This is kind of temporary because we need to place a sticky piston facing forward. And then we're going to place a block above it and then remove it like so. Then we'll need a block at the front here. This is going to have the button on. That's to activate the machine. Put a redstone torch right here. Then put a piece of redstone here and a torch on the side of that. You can see it activated it, uh, but if we press it again, you can see it works correctly. The next part we're going to build is the block that extends from the wall to catch the player after they've jumped upwards. So we're going to put a block above here, a redstone torch and another block here. In fact we're going to do lots of block placing as always so just follow my lead on this 
and now we want to put in two repeaters. These are both going to be on the fourth setting. This is to add some delay as the signal wraps around. So we'll put a torch here, a block above the torch, and then you want to put a block to the side, one below it. Remove that block so you can put a repeater here. This one is going to be on the default setting, and in front of it, a block with a torch on the side, a block above that, and then a sticky piston facing forward. Not over there. <laughs> this is the place to put it and then just put a block in front of it. So now when we press this, you'll see after the bottom bit activates, the piston at the top is going to extend. So now for the flush doorway at the top, what we actually want to do is kind of mark out where the door is. It's this two blocks right here, and then we want to place blocks around it to make it nice and flush. So that at the front, then around the back here, we want two blocks here behind the piston. We want to extend the wall over on this side all the way across the top as well, and then just two blocks right here. Then if we go into the inside, put a block down there temporarily and put our four pistons together. We can uh, remove that block, put two more pistons like that, and that's going to be our flush door. So up the top here, just place three more blocks, then a sticky piston facing upwards, a cauldron, put some water inside of that, then a comparator here facing in that direction, and then in the opposite direction, a repeater on the third setting, two pieces of redstone over here, two over here, and that's it. We've built the entire thing. So let's press the button and just see it in action quickly. And of course, we're going to test it in survival mode as well. Let's hold down forward, and through we go without taking any damage. So we've built it correctly. And that is it for this Minecraft tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It will be greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out the tutorials playlist. There's a link down there in the description box where you can find the world download for this world. And that's it for this video. Let me know what you thought of the contraption. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite, as I've said. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.